All right, the last thing we want to do with this is take a look at the output because our primary interest is whether uh, the tau equivalent model fits as well as the congeneric or whether the parallel model fits as well as the congeneric. Likewise, we want to see whether the parallel fits as well as the tau equivalent. We're, and Amos will use a chi-square test, um, a nested chi-square test to um, test those hypotheses. So let's click on the output. And down here, um, we, we get all the standard output, but down here at model comparison, we can see um, that Amos will provide these nested model comparisons. Um, and what it does is it'll make a comparison first assuming the congeneric model to be correct. In other words, the most unrestricted model to be correct. And it'll compare the tau equivalent to the congeneric and the parallel to the congeneric. So if they are equivalent, so if in the case of tau equivalent, if constraining the factor loadings um, fits the data as well as having them each, all those factor loadings be freely estimated, then we would expect a non-significant chi-square test here. And as we can see, the difference in the chi-squares was 18.895 and with four degrees of freedom that's statistically significant. So what we say is the congeneric fits the data significantly better than the tau equivalent. Likewise, not surprisingly, fixing the factor loadings and the error variances also produces a significant difference between the congeneric model and the parallel model. Amos also provides the um, tau equivalent comparison. So assuming the tau equivalent model is correct, it'll compare the parallel model. So it'll take a, a model with some freely estimated parameters and compare it to one that's constrained those parameters. And you can see the chi-square difference uh, between the chi-square for the tau equivalent model and the parallel model was 79.538 and with four degrees of freedom that is statistically significant. So again, we say the parallel model does not fit the data as well as the tau equivalent model. But neither the parallel nor the tau equivalent seem to fit the, the data as well as the congeneric. So if we click on model fit real quick, just above, we can see the chi-square values for each of the um, congeneric, tau equivalent, and parallel models. If you do the arithmetic and subtract 8.796 from 27.691, you'll see that you get the uh, difference right here of 18.895. Also, if we go back up here and subtract the difference in the parameters, we estimated 10 parameters in a congeneric and 6 in a tau equivalent, you'll see that these differences is 4. If we do the same arithmetic uh, for the parallel versus the congeneric, we'll see that the difference in their chi-squares was 98, and the difference in the number of parameters was 8. And likewise for comparing the parallel to the tau equivalent. So why that's important is so that you understand how to do the chi-square test should you not be able to set up the model comparison in Amos. Um, so you can use something like Excel or some other stats package to do the chi-square test directly um, or do that chi-square calculation uh, directly yourself. So that's how you do model comparisons in Amos. Um, it's very handy and very convenient and it's nice that it outputs um, all the model comparisons uh, and their chi-square tests um, directly. I hope you find this helpful.